Welcome to creativefox.net A fellow YouTuber Sam asked me to give a tutorial on the electromagnetic piston engine idea I had So here we go Sam uh, There is the magnet popping in and out of the coils You can just see it bobbing out of one side and, and out of the other It's a smaller magnet i have used in on the original video Not quite so impressive but it still works, you still got the idea um, the circuit on the breadboard uh, is this in schematical form. Uh, here is uh, IC. Here is the 555 IC, uh, delivering just a bit more than six and a half hertz, uh, one meg and a uh, one microfarad. This delivers a square wave to these two 2N3904s which are arranged to give an anti-phase square wave signal into this H-bridge circuit which was originally designed to run a motor, you can see that but instead of that I run it to, on my uh, two coils here L1 and L2, L1, L2 uh, and the magnet could go in between, I've done no work on this at, at all uh, for an engine um, which is supplied by the square wave and would run a flywheel at the moment this is resonating at about 8 hertz, 9 hertz but with a balanced flywheel on you could run this at any speed on here uh, there's a control circuit uh, with a sensor, now again I've done no work on this at all which uh, could go back to a control circuit and in turn drive the multi-vibrator um, at the present I've got a variable HT on it uh, between 6 and 18 volts which uh, just gives me uh, my amplitude uh, I did originally have a uh, PWM but that's that's redundant so I don't use that I've just used my variable power supply and you can see there it's running at about 9 hertz so Sam and any other YouTubers that were interested in this uh, little experiment I hope that's been helpful